Welcome to my poster. My name is Lyndon Parks, and in this work, we found that average controllability improves the prediction of positive psychosis symptoms by leveraging the polysynaptic connectivity stemming from transmodal cortex. The psychosis spectrum is associated with widespread multimodal disconnectivity within the brain. However, this widespread effect is not spatially uniform and is instead concentrated in transmodal hubs. Lots of work has examined this disconnectivity. However, much of it has focused on only examining the direct connections between regions. While these connections are of course important, we argue that in order to achieve a more complete picture of psychosis pathophysiology, connectivity analyses also need to tap into variation along the indirect polysynaptic paths that connect pairs of regions. So here we draw a network control theory to quantify the extent to which regions can leverage their access to all of the indirect pathways coursing throughout the brain to control brain dynamics. And we do this through a measure called average controllability. And we ask a couple of simple questions. First, we asked how average controllability's capacity to predict psychosis symptoms compared to other common summaries of regional connectivity taken from graph theory, some of which, such as strength, only index at regions direct connections. The results for this question are presented here in figure one. In particular, we are showing out of sample predictive performance for average controllability, which is marked in AC here, compared to strength, as well as several other measures of centrality that also extend beyond direct connections. We found that average controllability was the best predictor of positive psychosis symptoms and was the only connectivity feature to predict beyond chance levels, which is shown in the middle. Additionally, we also asked how prediction of psychosis symptoms from both average controllability and strength varied as a function of the principal cortical gradient of functional connectivity. Starting at the subplot on the left here in figure two, we first found that the cross subject correlations between strength and average control at each region decreased as regions traversed up the cortical gradient, showing clearly that strength and average controllability exhibit increasing amounts of unique variance in transmodal regions. Since average controllability can leverage indirect connections and strength cannot, we attribute this divergence between the metrics to this sensitivity. Looking at the middle and the right subplots of figure two, we see that this divergence between metrics also translates to prediction performance that improves for average controllability as we move up the gradient, but not for strength, which is on the right. This shows that average controllability sensitivity to indirect connectivity stemming from transmodal cortex is what drives its superior predictive performance. <laughs> 